Hey there, Jeff with Eternity Shore. It is a beautiful day. First full weekend in May out on the water. Um, I'm at the slip right now. Mary is gone for the weekend. And my desire is to take this out on a test run for the first time. And we moved it from the lift over here to the um, slip with lots of drama, lots of wind. You can see that video from earlier. But today is fairly calm. It's supposed to be almost completely calm. There's a little bit of a breeze. But um, I want to take this out, get her up on plane, see how she performs. First run of the season. So let's get prepped and ready to go. We'll see if we can get her back. I'm not worried about leaving the dock, just coming back to the dock. Obviously, we need to turn everything off on the AC side of things. Water heater, battery charger, outlets, the fridge turn the AC main off. Um, let's turn on the bridge, the DC. We still have power going to the, um, coming into the boat. So we'll need to turn that off and disconnect the cables. Seacocks are open. Trust me on that one. Port side. And the I put the covers back on. I have the batteries on, the starter batteries. Click to on. So go ahead and fire it up and see what happens. Alright. Throttles all the way down. The shifters are in neutral. Still loose. And on the blower. That idled really high, really quickly. Alright, so everything looks good so far. Engines are running fine. Just sitting at about a thousand RPM. Going a little over five miles an hour here on the channel. 
the wind was supposed to be negligible today, but it feels like it's blowing about 10. So Mike helped me get off the dock. Thank you, Mike. Hope you're back in the water soon. Probably need help getting back, but he said I could use his slip since he's not gonna be around. So. Uh, the goal is to just you know, to go ahead and take this up on plane when I get out towards channel and beyond, beyond the no wake zone. Just bump it up a little bit more. About 65 degrees today, it's a beautiful day. I don't like taking the boat out by myself. It's a little too stressful, especially with the wind, but I really wanted to make sure I got it out today. Again, feels really good. Only going six miles an hour, but wind is pretty steady. Got to get used to driving this boat again. I'm excited to get it up on plane, but I feel a little nervous. I don't know why. It's nervous excitement. All right, here we go. Up on plane. get up on plane and uh, I was wasn't getting on plane real nice I was getting up really high I couldn't get the bow to drop down sooner than over 3,000 rpm which is a little bit unusual so maybe I thought I had the trim tabs on in a bad spot so I tried to trim it down just in case I don't have a trim tab reader, so I, I can only go by feel with the trim tabs, but that didn't seem like that was the thing, so I'm going to try again to get up on plane see how it goes.
uh, just south, just south of, sorry, just west of Hartford Island. slammed a couple times where people have gone a little bit too close for comfort. Rocking fore and aft isn't bad at all, but when you're rocking side to side, it can produce quite a wake. Kind of like a, there's like a 45 foot boat, 50 foot boat that passed going about 25 knots. And they must have been, they're within a hundred yards and it's like four foot waves. My sliding door, which you know is broken. Um, started opening and closing uh, when they came by. That was how bad it was. I think that was an initial pretty good run. Um, again, it's supposed to be no wind today, but uh, I got some wind. So we'll see what it's like to get back to the dock. Uh, I just spent about an hour floating here. Uh -huh. 